All right, so this is my finished makeup look. I ended up like changing up the lip a little bit because I'm so used to using like a peachy lip when my hair was highlighted, but now that it's dark, I kind of need to switch things up. I think I mentioned that before, but I'm liking like a more pinky makeup look with this darker hair color, I think, at least for now. So just did that. I am just wearing this outfit today. And I have to jump on a call and review a couple things before the call. By the way, it's Friday, so I feel really good. It is March 17. It's St. Patrick's Day, and no, I'm not wearing green. Okay, so I'm going to jump on the call soon, but just going to get all my stuff ready. So does anyone else like despise lunchtime? Like I love to eat. It's just that I work from home and making a lunch is like the most, it seems like the most daunting task to do to stop your momentum and your workflow. Unless I'm like ordering a sandwich, I'm not a good sandwich person. And plus I'm trying to like cut my carbs down because I just basically need to. I need to watch everything that I'm eating from now on because it's pretty much catching up to me with like my whole dad's side, you know, having high cholesterol issues. Like I just really need to be mindful of like the carbs that I eat and things like that. So it's like, I don't want to eat a sandwich. I don't really, I just need to figure it out. But it's just I, when I'm working and I have to go eat, it's just it takes up a lot of my time. I just want to keep going. And if I go somewhere to eat, it's LA and it's just going to take so much time. And I don't really want to spend all this money on ordering a Postmates lunch because we all know how much and how quickly that adds up. And, but it's just like, when I look in my fridge or in my pantry, I don't wanna eat any of it, you know? None of it, I want none of it. I'm sure some of you guys feel my pain on that one. So earlier, you guys saw me on a call and then I had to like, kind of debrief about that call afterwards. So it took like almost two hours. And I know probably a lot of you guys are wondering like, why are you guys or why do influencers, I still hate that term. Why do content creators get on calls or have to get on calls? And sometimes we do, but especially like if you have a manager, you're not really on a lot of calls. For me, a lot of times I'll go on a call if I'm doing like a long-term partnership with the brand, kind of just more so that we're all aligned, especially since it's kind of an ongoing thing. We wanna make sure we're on the same page or maybe it's like a bigger project. That's the only time where I'm really like on a call or it's like something that is more complicated and they wanna make sure we understand everything and give the opportunity to ask questions. And this was like a little bit of a different kind of call. But yeah, most of the time my manager is the one that takes the calls. But I think if you don't have a manager, then you're probably on a lot more calls than I am. But it's kind of nice because I get to just focus on the like creating content, which is my favorite, favorite part about, you know, what I do because it really does take a lot of time. So yeah, in case you're wondering, since that was a big part of today, I am now going to try on some pieces that I got. I have been lusting after this brand for a really, really long time. The quality of this brand is amazing. Their pieces are great and a lot of them are just like forever pieces. It's the brand Cezanne. A lot of you guys may already be familiar with the brand, maybe have pieces in your closet from the brand. So I'm gonna show you what I got and also some of like the staple basic pieces from them that will just kind of intertwine easily with the wardrobe I already have and how I can create different outfits based off the items that I chose and also just really exciting items for spring. So let's get to that. Okay, so first outfit from the brand. I chose this because I love how it's such like designer vibes. It reminds me of Emilio Pucci. And I love this because you can wear it so many different ways, but I have to show you the pants because they are a drawstring, but at the same time, they have an elastic waist. And you know how sometimes with elastic waists, it can just be so visible and not look as flattering or as nice. 
This one, they made it super dainty and just really pretty because they kind of hid it and they added like a ruffle on top. And you can't even tell that the waistband is elastic but it is. So they hit that really well and also made it super functional. I like it and I appreciate that because if you have a kid and you have to run around but you wanna look cute, like this is the perfect way to do so. So these pants, I'm only 5'1", I did not have to hem them. I'm wearing them with some flat shoes and they're perfect. I took a size zero, I believe, and then finish off the look with my little sunglasses right here. This is just such a spring vibe, I love it, but Another way you can use it, obviously you can use the pants with any type of top you have in your closet. I think if you paired this with like a pink oversized sweater, that would be really cute. One of the main reasons I got this outfit is because this would be such a cute like beach cover up type of outfit. So I just paired um, like a little bikini top underneath to show you how cute it would be as a little beach outfit. You just throw it on, throw on your sunglasses, grab your little beach bag, and you're so chic. It's so airy, it's so light. It has like a silky feel, but it's super sturdy at the same time. So here's another way I would wear this, just with like a tank, and then like I said, throw like a cute little pink sweater over it. This is such a cute look. And then, it's, you know, it's all about how many times, how many looks you can create with a lot of these pieces. And I feel like this is something you'll keep forever and you can recreate and create so many different outfits. This is a print, which is usually something I kind of steer away from. But again, like I said, this is so high-end looking that it makes me feel good. I can create many different outfits with it and also take it through different seasons and be okay. Okay, let me just throw on the sweater to show you. This little tank is from Cezanne as well, by the way. But how cute is this little outfit? And then when it comes to like the shirt, you could also just pair it with shorts, so many other things as well. All right, here is another pink piece. I had to do this pink suiting, I just had to. And I've been having a moment with pink ever since last year, I feel like. So I'm usually a neutrals girl and I just, I don't know, I feel like pink is probably my favorite bright color if I had to choose right now. I think it's such a happy color too. If you have a, like a really, if you have a special event coming up, especially this summer, the spring, even going into the fall, I feel like you need this set. So I really love wearing suiting like this with pretty much nothing underneath. And I just would use fashion tape to kind of connect these two front pieces right here so that you don't have to worry about it opening up. I've done this many, many times and it's such a chic look. So I did size up on this blazer. I got a size two as opposed to a size zero. Obviously pants, I got a size zero, which is my normal true to size. And it's so comfortable, fits perfectly. I wanna show you guys the detail on the pants right here with the little buttons. Really nicely made, obviously a high waist. And then it does have the matching buttons in the front. So I'm gonna show you guys a couple different ways to use it so that this is not just like a one-time thing. So with the blazer, this would be so cute under your white summer dresses or over your white summer dresses. And then obviously the pants, again, you could do a pink sweater, go all monochrome. You could do a white t-shirt. You could do a bodysuit. And if you don't wanna wear it like this, just open it up and add a tank under and I'll show you next. All right, so here is that same look with the same white tank I was wearing earlier, also by Cezanne. So they do make really great basic pieces as well. So I got this tank in a black also. So that's also really cute and super chic if you just wanted to not worry about, you know, showing underneath. All right, and this is another fun way I would wear these pants as well. So this is another basic piece. It's just a button down from Cezanne as well. What's nice about them, I mentioned they have a lot of great basics. So they'll cut something like this in so many different colors. So they have this in all plain white and other striped colors. I opted for the pink just because I thought it'd be something different, but still classic and something you can intertwine with pieces in your closet or my closet. This obviously would look great with denim. I could, you know, tuck one side of it to these trousers if I wanted to. I could tuck the whole thing in if I wanted to. I sized up to a size four to give that more 
laid back vibe but this is such a cute look and these are truly investment pieces you guys so don't be afraid you can definitely vouch for them and these are pieces like i said you're going to keep and their quality is amazing i'll link everything for you guys in the description box below super super chic and again this is also something that you could wear as like a beach cover-up if you wanted to so i was able to just create so many different looks and just feel like you get so much use out of all these pieces I have the biggest headache. I'm sure you guys are all aware and probably have heard, but California right now has the craziest weather. The most amount of rain I have seen ever the whole time I've lived here. And it's just like, I'm happy about it. But sometimes I don't know what it is when the weather is so crazy. Like today, the sunshine. Yesterday was all rainy. No, you know, it was all cloudy. The day before, it was all rainy. The day before that, it was all sunshine. It almost like gives me a head cold or it just gives me some headache. Everything just feels heavy up here. And I notice it's only like when the weather changes. Sometimes I don't know. Like I'm pretty sure I get migraines, but I just think it's a bad headache. Like to the point where like I have to shut my eyes and like put pressure on it, I don't know, but it, it's like more painful than a headache. Almost like to the point where I wanna throw up. So that's why I think it could be a migraine. Every time I feel something, I don't ever want to tr like say it's something severe because I feel like there's people that are really suffering from those things. So I don't wanna say, you know, that it's a migraine and then like, I know there's people that actually deal with real migraines like Jamie, but it could be. Just hanging some stuff up in my closet and the lighting in here is really bad. I'm pretty sure I told you guys about like my little kind of rework, refresh of my closet. You know, I like to mix a lot of high and low things, but at the same time, I'm really just trying to go back to the basics, trying to invest in quality basics. And if that means that I find a trench coat that I know is a classic that I'll reuse every year, if that means that that specific trench coat is $300 or more, but it's a great color, great structure, great quality, then I'm gonna get it. Versus the one that I may not like within a year because I find little things wrong with it here and there every time I wear it. So yeah, that's why if any of you guys follow me also, you may have seen me post, like I did a whole refresh on my t-shirts. So I basically have all brand new t-shirts up here. You can't really see. Most of them are from Aritzia just because I'm familiar with their fit and a lot of their stuff fits petite people like me. You know, their qualities is not as good as it was before, but it's also still hard to find those good fitting pieces for petites. The quality is still good, I will say, but yeah, like even if I don't want to really shop at Aritzia, still that I do because they make clothes that are good for five, three and under. I've kind of been liking Reformation a lot lately as well. I've been really liking Frankie Shop just because they have a lot of those really cool, unique pieces that are still like classics at the same time. What else? Yeah, just trying to buy pieces that could be a little bit pricey, but they're pricey because they are good quality and because they are those like investment basic pieces. If you guys, if I even make any sense. Good morning. Hi, Presley Bear. Say hello to the camera. What you doing, crazy lady? What you doing? Whoa, they're saying hello. Second coffee, second caffeine drinks of the day. Oat milk latte and matcha oat milk latte. I can't drink a second coffee because I get sleepy and sometimes a headache. 
So we're trying other things. Today is a matcha. Presley, you ready to go run outside? This. At the mall? This. Yeah? Okay. We're going to Century City. If you guys have been there in LA, then you know how amazing this mall is. All right, we're here eating at the Zink. The Zink cake? I don't even know. I went to Wingdale's, I got a pair of white shoes. Cassie's eating some nuggets right now. There's so many shoes I want. And then they gave me a $50 discount. No, a $50 gift card for spending like over $200. So then I went downstairs and was gonna buy a pair of sunglasses, but they said I couldn't use the, dis the gift card until the 21st. So I'm gonna wait till the 21st and order it online. So we are home now, put Presley down for bed. We're just chilling. And we're gonna watch a movie called Heat. I've never seen it before, but Jamie loves it. Okay, it's Sunday, March 19. Where are we going, Press? So you see the animals. The animals. See animals. See animals. We're gonna see elephants. Uh, I don't think we're gonna see elephants. <laughs> well, we are going to the gentle barn. It's a place where they save animals that, like, were about to be slaughtered. So now you can go there and give them all the love and pet them, and hug them. Elephants are so big. Elephants are. Elephants are so big. So elephants big. are so big. <laughs> Oh, big truck, big, big truck, truck over there. <laughs> so we're gonna go there. It's drizzling a little bit, but hopefully it clears up over in that area. I love you. So. I love you. I love you. She said I love you for the first time not too long ago, and it's the best thing we've ever heard. I'm very happy about that. It melts our heart, and she's just talking so much. So yeah, we're gonna go see all the animals. We'll show you guys what it looks like and right all the animals we see. She's very excited. Sacramento. Never really done anything like this. I don't know how she's gonna be. Well, we kind of took her to a petting zoo. It's like a mini one that was inside the pumpkin patch. Use and she right was so lane. funny because she would like touch them and Thank run away. Like just, just, pet, just a tap. <laughs> so we'll see how she is today. Here, this is a goat. Go touch it. I don't blame her, it's a lot, right? It's, it's overwhelming in there. We went to the gentle barn. So Presley's still a little bit afraid. To touch the animals, it's like, you know, we don't really know. She loves animals, like when she sees them, like on a screen, she's always talking about them. But yeah, she's still two, so I'm sure in time she'll be more open. Then we just had lunch with her, which I did not film. I didn't eat at lunch. This is why I'm just kind of having a snack right now. So I'm having just a almond butter sandwich. Just something simple because we're gonna have dinner here soon. And yeah, that's it. I'm just using Justin's honey almond butter. Because like I said, I didn't eat. Right now, Presley's at the mall with Jamie. They're just like kind of walking around. Just to get her feet moving. She didn't really want to walk a lot at the barn. So they're at the mall for a bit. When we came home, I literally took all my clothes off, put it in the washer, took a shower, cause it was like a little bit rainy. It was like drizzly while we were there. 
So it was a bit muddy and windy, so it was like dusty, a lot of hay, a lot of dust. So I also, it's that time of the month, which I didn't tell you guys. It's probably why I've been feeling weird too, I don't know. It's just very different. Like the time of the month now after giving birth, I think is very different. Like I get the worst cramps ever. Like I started on Friday. Yeah. And it was the worst cramps. No, actually I started yesterday. Day one was yesterday. And like, I felt like my legs were also cramping. I couldn't even sit up straight. And it never used to be that bad before. It's also so heavy the second day, like, a lot heavier than before. It's always heavy the second day, but it's like, what is going on here? So really annoying, like an embarrassing, no one could see, but it's so heavy that like, I put a new tampon in before we left. Sorry, if this is too much information, you can fast forward. The place was 30 minutes away. So when we got there, I got out of the car and I looked at my seat and I saw that there was blood. And I was like, oh my God, that means like, it's on my pants. So luckily I was wearing a t-shirt with a sweatshirt over and a puffer vest. So I took off my sweater, wrapped it around my waist, went to the restrooms and the only restrooms the barn had was a porto potty. I thought they at least were gonna have like some type of outdoor covered stalls. And I was like, are you kidding me right now? It was just the worst, like being a girl, really can be the worst experience. You guys can all agree with me, I'm sure, because when you're put in a position like that and you have no choice and you're like at the porta potty and you're just like having to like do what you need to do in a place like that and you're already stained and you're just like, this is, this. that's the main reason why I wanted to just come home rip my clothes off, throw them straight in the washer and take a shower. Like what I envision when I go in a porto potty is that all the germs just are invisible, but they're like gnats or flies and they just cling to your clothes and then they stay there. I like want to deep clean my car and everything. Like I just, the stuff that I was like looking at and in that porto potty was just so disgusting. Like, I think we need a better system. <laughs> well, obviously like we were there for Presley and I'm like, I would just love to turn around and go home. Thankfully, like no one could see my sweatshirt. It was long enough that it covered my butt. And I asked Jamie, you know, to check for me. And he said, I can't see anything. So thankfully I was able to put my sweatshirt back on. But anyway, while they were gone, I had prepped and started marinating some chicken for dinner tonight. The rice is cooking. We're having asparagus for a side and that's dinner. my clothes got a little bit dirty from cooking and I think I'm gonna call it night because we're just gonna press you down here soon call and have some dinner and you know it's kind of like our time don't really want to film it anyway everything will be in the links for anything shown more you know all of the above but thank you guys so much for watching this little vlog I hope you enjoyed the little three-day vlog and that's pretty much it. I'm gonna finish Heat tonight, the rest of Heat. It's such a good movie. I love it so much. I can't believe I've never seen it before. Anyway, that's pretty much it. So I will see you guys in the next vlog.